So it's late September and it's kind of unseasonably warm, would you say, and it dry? Is. It is for this time of year. Is it kind of ideal harvest weather or? Any weather is good harvest weather. This is the time of year when we reap the benefits. And a lot of folks might not realize that rice is grown here in Missouri and we're in South Missouri. And what varieties of rice are you growing? This year we have medium grain that's used in cereal production. We have jasmine, which is a long grain sticky aromatic. And we have just regular long grain, like you need a Chinese buffet. What's your favorite? I like the jasmine. I do too. We have the ability to be vertically integrated. We're the farmer, we're the producer, we're the, the miller, we're the packager, we're the marketer. So we take something from seed and see it all the way to the consumer, to the plate, to the table. Which is unusual. It is unusual. There's a reason why not many people are doing it. It's pretty hard to do. It's not just a locally distributed product. I mean, you're distributing all over the place. Tell me what your distribution model is. Anybody that has any money that can pay us, we sell it to them. <laughs> <laughs> No, we sell rice uh, pretty much coast to coast. It started out as a project, and just over a period of 17 years now, almost 18 years, I went from a farmer to a rice miller to a marketer to... Now you're the rice guy? Now I'm the rice guy. I'm the Missouri rice guy. <laughs> so. Can we take a look at it? Sure. This is rice. Oh, cool. It's just tall grass. If grass headed out, it would look similar to this. So the milling process, this outer hull is taken off, yep. and then what is left is brown rice. If you remove the hull, you've got brown rice. Mm -hmm. If we make white rice, then the brown rice gets polished by friction to remove that bran layer or the brown layer off the rice. What do you do with that? Uh, animal feed. Okay. Yeah. When we process rice, we don't throw anything away. Everything has its purpose, because if you take how much a bushel of rice costs that a farmer receives, each thing that you remove off of that, each step it goes through, has a purpose and a price sure. or a value. A value, sure. Yeah, to add up to be how much a bushel cost. Can we go to the mill? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. This is our receiving area. This is where we receive the rough rice, the patty rice, and the rice comes in in these trucks. They get weighed and we sample the rice to make sure it's the correct quality. And uh, it goes into these tanks. So we have certain tanks for jasmine, we have certain tanks for medium grain, we have certain tanks for long grain. So we're putting the rice in the correct tank. And then whenever we get ready to process it, then we move it from the tank over to the mill. seen the fields, we're seeing the rice being dumped, and now we're going to go inside and see how it's milled. Let's go. Okay, so here we've got brown rice, but there's still a lot of imperfections. I mean, even though that looks really pretty, if you get to really picking those kernels out and looking at them, there's some kernels that are there that you wouldn't want to put in the bag. Okay. So we have to go through some more processes to get it looking the way it needs to look. You can see how it goes from brown to white to whiter to very bright white. Absolutely. That's cool. So we got the rice white, but it's not done. We've still got a lot of things we've got to do to this rice to get it ready to go into the bag. We've got to go through another separation of cleaning and aspirating and sifting. And then we've got to start sizing all the different size pieces. And then we've got to have a machine look at every kernel and make sure that it's the right color, the right size, the right shape, everything, before it goes on to the next process. All of our rice 
is all processed and shipped within just a few days. So you don't process it and then it sits and waits? We don't mill rice just to be milling rice. We don't expect to have sales. We have sales or we don't process and ship. So all this rice that you see stacked up in here, it all has a home, it's all going someplace. And there's a lot, there's yeah. a lot of rice. Yeah. This is our medium grain warehouse. Where's all of this going? Well, this is going to make Rice Krispies. You're kidding. Every bit of it. So this is all gonna be in somebody's cereal bowl? This is all going into somebody's cereal bowl, granola bar, anything that has puffed or crisp rice in it, this is where it starts. This is the bag that I remember picking up years and years ago. And when I picked it up and I saw that it was a Missouri rice, I was like, really? This is grown in Missouri. And so now being able to come down here today and see where it's from and meet you and see the entire process, it's really cool. You don't really think about all of those steps along the way just to get to that one single grain of white rice. Rice is very common. It's not expensive, it's very economical. A lot of people eat it every day, mm -hmm. maybe even two or three times a day. They really don't appreciate where it comes from or how it got to their plate yeah. unless they come and see how that process works because it's pretty elaborate. Mm -hmm. 